at first, uh, I'm quite afraid to enter homestay because like I'm looking like uh, I'm living with a family that I don't know. I don't know how they their rules and regulation and how they behave. And so at first, I think I will not be comfortable. Uh, my first impression of Melanie is like she's a mother. Like yeah, like I'm so happy when I got her because like ooh, she looks like a mother. I first choose homestay because like I want to learn the how Australian people point of view and how their tradition is and so that I I can adapt easily because like I really don't know anything about Australia. What's Australian? Um tea and scones. <laughs> I need someone to help me in my adaptation. Like I found out that there's several differences in culture, such as in Australia we use knife and fork, in Indonesia we use spoon and fork. Uh, I learned how to improve my English because I'm bad at English at first. A culture in Australia that Australian people do because like in Indonesia um, it's rarely that we do gardening or we we do crafting when we're bored. We just go to the mall. This homestay is quite near at school, so I can choose either to a walk or catching the bus. If I'm feeling like I want to be healthier or I want to exercise, I walk to the campus and I can also take bus. If it's quite near. I have pets back home, but it's a dog. And then when I came here, it's a cat. At first, like I'm not very uh, like comfortable with cat, but like. As time goes on, like, I love cats now. <laughs> if there is one day that I should leave this house, I will definitely keep in touch with her, with my father, my mother, and my homestay mates. Cause like, yeah, they have been a part of me since the first day I arrived in Melbourne. It's a home away from home.